Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, so as you can tell from the title, today is just gonna be like a 10 minute glow up. Um, I like doing these whenever like, I don't wanna put a full beat on. Like if you're running late for school, if you're running late for work, if you're about to do some errands and you don't wanna full glam, then I got you. If you enjoy this content, sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead and prep the face. I'm not putting on a full bead of like eyeshadow or anything like that. I'm just gonna put on some setting spray um, or some primer spray. So I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Uh, Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist, one of my favorites here. So we're just gonna prep the face real quick. After that, we're gonna go ahead and put some primer on and I'm gonna be using the NYX uh, Professional Primer. So that's what I'm gonna use here today. And I like to go in with like a dime size amount on my face because again, I have larger pores. So I like to try and, you know, blend those in. But do what works for you. And again, with the primers, um, you will need to let those sit for a couple minutes, you know, to let it, you know, marinate in your skin before you apply the foundation. Okay, so now that the primer has set in, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put on my foundation. Um, so I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I am going to use, all right, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Um, I have this in the shade of 495, so I'm gonna use that today. Um, I'm gonna shake it up. And I'm um, actually, actually, before I do that, let me use my um, eye brightener. So give me just a moment here. I do got some dark circles. So let me use my eye brightener. I'm still doing the, um, or using the Ciate London eye brightener. I'm in the shade medium. So let me just go ahead and put this on real quick. And it doesn't take much at all. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the foundation. Again, it's the L'Oreal Freshwear in 495. And I'm just gonna take two pumps and put it on my sponge. You guys, this is the best sponge. This is a Wet n Wild sponge. You can get these on Amazon, on Wet n Wild. I believe they're under $5, but this is the best sponge, drugstore sponge that I have found that is flawless. It's flawless on the application. It is the best sponge and it's really soft. Okay, so I use two pumps and I'm just gonna, oh, I thought I got it on my shirt, but I did it. I'm just gonna put it on here and blend it in. So yeah, this is a perfect foundation. Um, it's not cakey or anything like that. It gives you a, nice beat too, like it beats your face. So it's really nice, full coverage. All right, so now that that is blended in, I'm gonna go ahead with my concealer. I'm gonna switch it up. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie, um, the L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, Freshwear concealer, and this one is in the shade caramel or caramel, however you pronounce it caramel or caramel. I'm actually gonna have to get me another one of these because I am running low, but this is really good as well. So again, we're gonna let this sit in for a couple minutes and then we will blend it out. 
All right, so the concealer has been setting for a couple minutes. So now we're gonna go ahead and get that blended out. All right, so I'm just taking my Sephora airbrush concealer. Um, it's a pro airbrush concealer brush. So I'm just gonna take my concealer, concealer brush and blend out my concealer. I can't talk. We're going to blend out the concealer. And again, whenever you're setting out your concealer, make sure that you're looking up and trying to blend in the, you know, blend out the creases as much as possible. And then you want to let this sit for a couple more minutes and then go back, blend it out, and then put your setting powder on there. So we're just going to let that sit for a couple moments and then we'll go ahead and set the under eyes. Okay, so now that the concealer has set, we're going to get ready and set the under eyes. So I'm still loving this um, Gekomo, I don't know how you pronounce this stuff, from Shein, this translucent powder, setting, uh, setting powder. I don't know how you pronounce it, but we're gonna use that today. And this time we're just gonna use the sponge today because I use the sponge for the application for the foundation. So we're just gonna use a sponge to go ahead and um, set the under eyes and set the whole face actually. So I'm just gonna switch it up today. Sometimes you forget how good a sponge really is because I haven't used a sponge for a little bit, but the sponge application always looks really smooth on your skin. All right, so we're gonna set the face again and then I'm just gonna do a little bit bronzer. And then I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer just to give a little life back to my skin. And again, I'm using the shade Endless Summer. So that's that right there. That bronzer looks more like a blush today. Try to blend this out some. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to just go ahead and do um, lashes. Again, this is a 10 minute glow up, so I'm not going with a full beat. So we're gonna go ahead and apply some lashes on here. Put those on, so give me just a moment here. And I'm just using my Kiss Number 11 lashes. Those are one of my favorites, so I am using those today. 
and I'm just putting my lashes over to the side because I'm putting the glue on them so I'm just letting them dry for a moment Okay, so while that is drying, I'm going to attempt to put the eyeliner on my waterline up top because of my lashes, because I'm not doing a, a full beat. So we're going to apply the eyeliner up top here. that one's done it does make your eye water a little bit I'm just doing that because the lashes will blend in better whenever you apply the lashes yeah it does make your eye water but it's all good Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um, apply the lashes. I don't really apply lashes on camera, but we'll go ahead and do it, so. Can't forget to put on your mascara. I forgot to put on my mascara before the lashes, so I took the lash off. And just put a light coat of mascara on. And then we're gonna try and apply this again. Don't poke yourself in the eye, whatever you do. Oop. All right, so that one's on. So as you can see, it makes a big difference. What a difference, you know? So let me go ahead and do this again, the next eye. I'm still learning with these lashes on how to apply it and everything, see? So we're gonna go ahead and put mascara on the next eye and apply the next lash. And we're almost done with the face. All right, so mascara is on. And then we are about to apply the lash again on the next eye. All right, so we're gonna put, what I've been doing is putting the Kiss Lash Glue on my eyelid for it to stick better. All right, so that is on, and then I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds and then pop on this lash. I hear that if you put on the lash, like in the middle, that it goes on better than trying to just put it on like that. That's why I was applying it like that, because they say, put it on in the middle, and it should go on, you know, nicely. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put on the next lash here. Ooh, that's really sticky.
All right, so the second lash is on. So lashes are on, so there's that. I know my face looks a little, not my face, my eyes look a little naked because there's like no foundation or anything like that. But what I'm gonna do is just real quickly, again, this is just a little 10 minute glam. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my bronzer, uh, my Physicians Formula Bronzer, and I'm just gonna put some on my eyelid just so it doesn't look too naked. So I'm just gonna do that. All right, so I've put that on there for, you know, you look like you got a little little face on, nothing much, but it is what it is. Um, and then finishing touches, I am going to take, I'm gonna use two powders today. Um, the first one I'm going to use is this um, CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Powder. This one is in the shade Natural Tan. So I'm just gonna put this on here real quick. over my face with it real quick just a light dusting of it and then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Maybelline fit me powder um, this one is in the shade 332 golden caramel and I'm going to press that under my eyes just a little bit and that's pretty much it just saying my under eyes and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm gonna throw a little bit of lipstick on here. I'm going to use my Sole Janeiro, or Sole Janeiro, and this one is in Soulmate. I'm just gonna put this on my lips. And there is that. All right, so that's it, guys. This is your 10-minute glam. Get ready with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. There will be more content loading. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Again, there will be more content loading. If you are new, thank you for stopping by. And for everyone else that is, you know, a regular, thank you for showing me love. So um, until next time, I hope you guys continue having a happy new year. And as always, stay blessed.